Mm, they look like, uh, I guess, the most unlikely choir boys. They insist they sing for God, but the Reverend Fred Nile has his doubts. We've got them together today for the first time to discuss the musical pros and cons of heavy metal Bible bashing, I guess, or metal missionaries, they've been called. Would you please welcome uh, Robert Sweet, Oz Fox, uh, Timothy Gaines, and uh, Michael Sweet from the rock band Striper, and, of course, the Reverend Fred Nile. Please, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to Australia. Welcome, Fred, as always. Um, now, listen, uh, you've described these guys as, uh, as effeminate, as uh, of gimmickry and with God, and also you've said that head-banging music is not the way to find God. Do you still stick by that? That's right. Have you ever heard their music? I've heard it on television, like with the video clips. Mm. But you never, never actually heard an album? No. No, I haven't been to the concert either, but I have had young people who went to the last concert you had here who said to me, Fred, you were right. Uh, there were a lot of head-banging going on during the concert. And uh, these Christian teenagers were really put off by that. All and, right. Uh, I know God can work miracles, and maybe God's working miracles in your conscience, but they're kind of stacking the odds against God uh, for the Holy Spirit to work in, the, in a very heavy rock, heavy metal atmosphere with the beat and the, the rhythm, and that uh, takes the kids away from God, really. All right, Robert, what would you say to that? Well, I would say, number one, everybody has their own opinion, and everybody's titled to it, but... You brought up a good point that it might put some Christians off. Striper started off as a band to not really focus in on reaching Christians because they're they're already reached. Yeah. Striper's going so you after. Didn't, you didn't target Christians. No, not at all. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of supportive Christian people out there who who really support Striper, and that's wonderful. But what we're here to do is is hopefully uh, plant seeds around the world to people who will never go to church. Yeah. You know, people who won't pick up a Bible and read it. Uh, hardcore case-type people who are really into, into rock and roll music and are really rebellious against well, that's, that's what worried me, though. A lot of the publicity for their previous concert, and I think the same thing's happened this time, was sent to churches, to church youth groups. And you've got a lot of pastors and ministers who say, oh, this must be a good country gospel group, you know, a soft, yeah. uh, uh, gentle <laughs> music. And send their youth group along, and they get a shot. And they ask me for advice. And that's what I was saying. I thought for Christian youth groups, uh, I don't think it's the place to go. It's like sending a lot of uh, ex-alcoholics to a beer festival. No, 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 no. We're but trying I to get the kids out of this no. heavy rock atmosphere. But I must add this. If, if anybody out there is afraid of sending their kid to a Striper concert and afraid that it's going to pull them away from the Lord, they might as well pull them out of the public school system. Well, also, you just said there's more sex and drugs in public schools than there, there are. Is. I'd, like, I'd like to add that uh, for the kids who have you're, that, that you're talking about or the people or whoever... They came and saw us and they said that you were right. There's many, many people that come to us or write to us and say that they gave their lives to Jesus Christ through us mm -hmm. because of what we're all about. So, of course, there's going to be people who say we're wrong, but yet there's people who come to know Christ. Yeah. And, and that's all we care about. Yeah. Can I just, really can all I just we actually toss in, uh, we got a fax, a fax today in my office from uh, a lady in uh, Mrs. Mason in Greenacre to you and uh, just saying that she ha I've got three sons who will be going to Striper's second concert on Friday night along with several other young people from the church. The boys have all Striper's music and I have been listening to it for years, not always voluntarily she says. I've read the lyrics to their music and found it to be biblical, <coughs> encouraging and uplifting for young people. My sons are Christians too and she says at the end to ask you Fred, she makes the point that Jesus's view of discipleship was far more inclusive than the narrow view held by some Christians today and I guess by implication she means you. Do you think you're being too narrow? Well, again, Jesus said we are to be in the world, but not of the world. And it's just whether Stripe is crossing that line. You know, not deliberately, as to whether with the good intentions and trying to reach people with the gospel and... But you've um, accused them of gimmickry. Christ. You've said gimmickry. Well, I think they would agree. The video showed that. The gimmicks, the hairstyle, the gear and so on. Perhaps if they came on with just their talent, they've got talent. And what do you think? Cut, cut the hair and wear a suit? Well, a lot of the straight groups, a lot of the groups now, come on straight. Uh, a lot of the groups, uh, you know, real high leading bands in the world, uh, come on with sports clothes. I don't uh, have all the but gear. But that's now. not rock and roll. And see, yeah. that's our our whole point again. We're not the uh, the straight Christian group here playing in the church. Mm. We're out in arenas playing to the same audience that would go see Ozzy Osbourne or or uh, Van Halen or whatever. And that's what we do best. Most of the people that go to rock shows would never give any evangelist a chance. You know, there's many kids that we talk to who would never watch any evangelist or preacher or whatever you want to call them uh, on TV. They'd never go to a church, but they well, come to a striper show and they relate. Are yeah. you surprised as a result of that that uh, you've been condemned by a man of the cloth? 
Well, the head banging. Can you can you really say the head? What banging? do you mean by head banging? Head banging. This is Henry Gazan and the concerts. <laughs> the kids in the rows bang their heads in uh, you know beat with a rhythm. No, that's that's on happened. The seat in front of that's them, bang their heads like that. That's I mean, happened. Seriously, truthfully, we played. Now so those kids who went to the concert told me that was happening. We've been concert. together for six years, and and I'll I'll think about it right now. I think that it's happened that I've personally seen kids banging their heads at about maybe four or five of our shows out of how many hundreds of shows last uh, time in sydney this parent but event. that's nothing that we encourage we don't yeah. tell kids to bang their heads i mean let's face it there are people who go into church and fall asleep in the pew but that doesn't mean that because you're the pastor that you encourage that right what about this what about this idea now this is what uh, this is what you throw out into the audience which is in fact uh, the new testament uh, new international version of the new mm. testament soft cover as well fred it's not going to bang too many heads right you, you, you know that's gonna say this is what we throw out and we don't have these here today and what we have we don't have the stickers on them but we thought we'd be a little bit fun would you mind for a minute if we threw a couple out on the audience go for, go for break and let's okay. see what do you think of that fred i mean the idea well, of throwing again, out the that's drops. the bible yeah uh i just think it should be treated with reverence uh, this this to me is the word of god and you believe in that you wouldn't be You've been using it in your concerts. Let me tell you something. Uh, have it, just having the ashes handing it out down the... You know, put your hand up, you want a Bible and hand it to They're them. a bit heavier, Robert. Robert so you. Just be careful, I guess, right? They're a bit heavier. Are we taking a break? Or? No, no. Well, we, are we like, live still? Yeah, we're still live. We're still going. I just want to add, uh, the words in this book are holy, not the pages it's printed on. This comes off a printing press. And the more of these that you can get out to the people of the world, the better world you're going to have. Now, how many of those do you throw out in the concert? Well, it varies. 100 I mean, to 200. 100 uh, to 200. In the States, 200. When we're overseas, usually about 50 to 100. We'll give, so, him, we'll give him the 10, and he'll, uh, he'll throw them out. <laughs> but I just, I just wonder as well. Yeah, you don't want Robert throwing them. He, <laughs> he pitches them. He might actually injure somebody. He's a drummer. He, uh, but I just wonder what you think, Fred. I mean, here's the, here's the, the, the I guess, the uh, CD cover um, for the latest album for these guys, which is In God We yeah, Trust. That's right. Now, I, I read the lyrics again last night. Um, boy, I would I'm have not, thought, yeah, I thought you could have written this. Yeah, I'm not knocking... I, I don't knock the message. It's the medium. The message is OK. I'm not knocking that. And, I, I think... Uh, I love this motto, In God We Trust. I wish that was a motto for Australia. I mean, maybe you'll get people to take it up here in Australia. I know it's America's motto. We need it here in Australia. Aren't you obliged, though, to actually go to a concert yourself and, and see what happens, see if, in fact, it's just three or four people who are headbanging in the front? Yeah, well, I'm not against going to a concert, and uh, I've been challenged to go. I'm not frightened yeah. of Stripe, but I'm... Will you wear the leather... The last time I was here, I was... <laughs> the last time they were here, I was in the bush. Will, will you wear the leather vest they want you to wear? <laughs> i got my own leather jacket. I used to have my own motorbike and all that. You know, we, we tell all the people... Square as you think I am. No, no, that's all right. We tell, we tell anybody who listens to Striper, anyone who is into Striper, look past Striper and look to Jesus. We are not the way to heaven, and we don't want anyone to, to think that. We want people to look to Christ. He's the only way to heaven. He died for the world. Striper's just out there using our music to spread the gospel of Christ. That's all we're doing. Can I just add on to that? I agree with Do you that. think that... that actually uh, pushing the word of God is their gimmick or the way that the way they look which do you what's the gimmick do you think they've played on the Christianity as a gimmick we wouldn't push the word of God as a gimmick because I don't know how it is here in Australia but in America God's not really popular among the the rock and roll fans he's not popular at all so if we wanted to make money and be rich rock stars we would have sang about what every other band sings about well, what do you think do you think it's, is that what you meant by gimmick well I, a lot of the groups are throwing out dolls heads and other things you know yeah uh, and i thought perhaps when i first heard this you were copying that gimmick you know oh, instead no, of chop throwing no, out no, 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 can, no, no. can we get a commitment from you fred and will you go along and see a concert because i mean you're fairly influential around the place <laughs> for some of these why don't what you, about why see don't a you concert? come we invite well, i'm happy you. to see a concert i'm not against seeing the group I, I like to be objective and factual all right in what i say i, I, I have believe. to say one I'm more fair. thing I'm, I'm prepared to be fair i have to say one more make it quick also the one thing about the the way we look and the way we come off to a lot of the young people is that they're able to relate to that because they're so used to seeing that and we're not like taking it over the line where you know you are wearing like g-strings or anything like that you know we wear proper apparel that's not going to cause people to stumble mm. all right brother. well cut it there now you've got a concert uh, in sydney when is it friday friday, friday night, friday night. Friday night. Friday. Yeah. melbourne saturday and adelaide i believe is monday and we've well. got a big in store tonight yes well, where's that at, guys? Uh, mega Records? <laughs> mega Records, 6 o'clock, I think. 6 o'clock. All right, we'll find out about that. But also, what are you doing Friday night, Fred? Friday night. 
Can but you make it? Like, looks, looks, like <laughs> looks like we just booked I'm, you I'm into speaking, something. I'm speaking at a rally, but I'll, I can organize something. Bring, your, right. leather, bring your leather jacket. <laughs> bring, <laughs> in, in do, you have a le, do you have a leather jacket, leather strides for him if he doesn't have any? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure, sure we can for find some. <laughs> and I'd be intrigued okay. to hear afterwards, after you've gone. I'd be intrigued right. to hear what you've got to think. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Good luck Thank in Australia, and thank you, Fred, as always. Nice to have you. And John Michael Harson has the latest...